The way I like to work is I like to get all the hard stuff out of the way first so that by the time you get tired or bored, so to speak, it's all easy work from there on out. In terms of this truck, the hard work is the motor swap. The motor swap is now done and I kind of want to do something that's more fun, a little bit lighter work. Christmas was last month and I went up to visit my parents. My dad got me a pillar gauge set for this truck. So today we're gonna be installing the gauges in this thing. I have EGT, water temp, boost, and oil pressure. We're gonna get all those gauges set up in the cab of the truck and then I'm gonna run all the lines. By the end of this video, I should have all the information I need to safely drive this with the exception of maybe transmission temperature. Color matched. I did it off camera, but in the process of getting this truck ready, I rewired most of it and I ran it all through wire looms. They come up and around the driver's side and then go into the cab if they need to. So I'm gonna try and run all the wires for everything in the same area, generally speaking. I think that's gonna be the hardest part about this is just trying to figure out how to make the wires look really organized. This is our key on power right here. I'm going to probably cut that off and then crimp it to a new wire and supply the gauges with power through this. now obviously made a list while I was going of things I had to buy or pick up from over here this is the trim piece you saw me taking off this is the pillar where the boost gauges will go I drew this line and I'm gonna go ahead and dremel along this blue line right here so that I can save this piece for up on the ceiling and then put the new piece of trim right here This segment is of the four gauges three of them only have three wires a black which is a ground a red which is a key on power and green which is the feed from whatever sensor they have in the engine bay I'm gonna cut them all to length run all the grounds into one ground wire ground it run all the powers into one key on power and then tap into the power supply that I found under the steering column. And then I just went out and I bought some 18 gauge green wire that I will run each of the feeds to their sensors individually. And then as far as the EGT goes, I've got two power wires. I don't know why. I looked at the diagram. They both go to the ignition power. So I'm going to do the same with those. I'm going to tie those in. Black will go to ground. And then it has two wires that feed off that sensor that you saw me put inside the exhaust manifold. So. I have to extend these and then we'll head over to the engine bay. I could literally build you a car 
out of Mac and <laughs> If I can, if this thing pops off, I'll call well, it. That's one of your first big videos. When you start making money. Well, hey guys. So everything is wired. All the sensors are connected. I like loosely connected the exhaust gas temperature because I'm thinking that I may have to rewire that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key on and see if these gauges will light up. All right. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see the gauges back here while I'm driving. Temp gauge, oil pressure looks good. The boost, I think, is accurate. This truck is not built, so it's not making much boost. I think I maybe saw five pounds of boost. And then I don't really trust exhaust gas temperature. On the one hand, it is Celsius, so it should move slower than Fahrenheit. At resting, it seems to return to like the same temperature that it is when it's cold. I don't think that should be the case, so. I'm not sure about the dyno racing gauge, but the other three gauges from Dragon Gauge, they seem to be pretty decent so far. I'll have to do a review after some time driving this truck to see if these gauges actually hold up. That's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.